my name is Miranda. I am a fall 2016, spring 2017 Disney College Program alum. I was able to work merchandise at Epcot in the World Showcase. So I actually had the chance to meet Michelle on our program since we were there during the same term. So that was pretty fun and when she told me about this idea, I was all for it. Even though I'm really late on making it. So please don't judge me for how long it's taken. But I have a new camera now that's really cool. So Michelle sent me a few questions and I have them right here. So I'm just going to start getting into them. What is one thing you wish you knew going into the Disney College program? So personally, I wish I knew how emotional it would be. Um, not so much as missing home, but about midway through, you start losing some of the friends that you met there that maybe came earlier than you and were leaving sooner. One of my um, most missed people who I cried and cried and cried was my roommate, Emily. She's from Australia, so it's really hard having to say goodbye to the internationals just because it's really hard to go back and see them. So in my location, I had the chance to work with people from all over the world, like Brazil, the United Kingdom, the list can go on and on, but I definitely miss my Brazilians and of course my Australian. Um, let's see. What are some things that you wish you had done while in your program that you didn't get to do? So in my fall semester, I didn't do basically anything. I had really bad roommate experience. That's no secret. But I just really, I had a bad relationship, I didn't do anything. I was like, no, I'd rather spend time with them. And on my days off, I was like, I want to sleep because I'm tired. But I wish that I didn't let that stuff affect me. Not saying that I wish I didn't go through it because I would not be who I am now if I didn't. But I wish I'd taken more advantage of my time in the fall. Um, during the spring, I made a list of all the things I wanted to do, all the places I wanted to see, and I accomplished a good chunk of that. There's only a few things that I didn't get to do, but they were things that I was okay with leaving Florida if I didn't go and do them. The main thing that I wish that I had gotten to do was go to Disneyland because I've never been, and I wish that I did because you get free entrance. Why wouldn't you go? But instead, my friend Sarah and I decided to go on a Disney cruise, so that was pretty cool. Not a lot of people get that opportunity. So if you're wondering more about my cruise and everything, just head over to my channel. There's more videos coming soon. I have a blog post about how you can make the trip possible, how much it costs. There's, I tell everything. There's no secrets on what you won't pay, because I know that I really wish I had something like that. So if you want to go on a Disney cruise. Ask me anything you want. So, is there anything that you wish you had done differently? Not really. The only thing that I wish I did get to do more of was picking up more locations. I know I worked a ton of different locations. I worked in over 33 actual stores, 18 different costumes. It was pretty great. It was a very good networking opportunity, so I'm glad that I got to meet everyone that I did. But I made it my goal to work in all the parks, all the water parks, and there was some of the resorts, but I didn't actually make it to a resort. So I did work in all four parks. I worked in Disney Springs, and I worked in both water parks, but by the time that I'd gotten around to the resorts, I was like, oh, it's the end of my program. I want to play in the parks instead, so... If I could go back, I would do that for sure. So advice about my role, I was merchandise at Epcot. So merchandise, there's a lot of opportunity to do anything pretty much. In my specific location, we had HOH, which is a shift from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. where you're doing shipment days, where you're unloading pallets, stocking the stock room, and just making sure the stores look nice before everyone comes in and those were my absolute favorite shifts ever mainly because my florida mom was so awesome she was one of my leaders i love her to death so if you go to towers and you happen to see brenda tell her hi for me um there's at my store there wasn't regular floor stock shifts so we kind of rotated and did everything 
I know a lot of locations you have either only floor stock or only register shift. So register, you could be working register, you could be merchantaining, you could be helping people. I mean, there, it just really varies depending on where you're at. Floor stock generally stays the same and you're stocking the floors. So merchantaining, I loved. I loved playing with bubble wands and playing with all the little kids, especially in all the different locations that I worked. And I actually, let's see. So I worked in 36 stores. So in case you're wondering and you want any advice on any of them, feel free to contact me. I'm pretty nice, generally. So I worked at Disney Traders, Port of Entry, 100 Acre Goods in uh, Fantasyland at Magic Kingdom, Fantasyland Cart, Castle Couture, Sir Mickey's, Fantasy Fair, Emporium, Uptown Doors, Uptown Door, I can't say the word. Why can't I say the word? I can always say. Main Street Cinema, Big Top Souvenirs, Star Traders, Merchants of Venue. That's not right. Merchants of Venus, Tomorrowland Cart. I worked Halloween wristband shifts, Halloween treat shifts. Those were amazing. Mouse Gear. I worked the Festival of the Arts on its inaugural year, so that was pretty cool to say. Island Mercantile Trading Company over at Animal Kingdom. World of Disney, Once Upon a Toy. I did data collector shifts at Disney Springs, so basically you're counting people and you're in normal clothes so no one knows you're a cast member. I worked at Mickey's of Hollywood, Five and Dime, Keystone Clothiers, In Character, the Disney Studio Store, Briar Patch, the Splash Mountain Exit, the Beach House at Blizzard Beach, Singapore Sals, and Shay Check over at Typhoon Lagoon. So that's just a little bit about where all, that's the favorite part about merchandise that I will say is you have the opportunity to pick up anywhere. As long as you have the correct training and since my location sold alcohol we already had RVP training but if you don't you can get that online on the hub. Just search it under DLEARN EHH RVP and there you go. So advice about the program you'd like to give. Live every minute of it. Don't waste your time on dumb people, lame people, people that want to bring you down. Go out and have fun. Don't be afraid to go to the parks alone because honestly, that is the most fun part. I will vouch for that. And don't get into relationships while in your program. You're not there long enough and it's not worth it. Definitely get an annual pass to Universal Studios. I know a lot of people did that, and it's just a lot of fun, especially during that first week when you can't even get into the parks. So what else are you gonna do? Might as well go see Harry Potter World. It's fantastic, by the way. Also, ride the Hulk. Even if you're terrified of roller coasters like me, face your fears, you will not regret it. Share a story about a magical moment that you took part in. Oh my gosh. I cannot honestly pick one. There have been so many magical moments that uh, there's no telling. So I'll talk about a couple. I actually have my favorite guests that are, when I met them, they just, they were on their honeymoon and they came up and talked to me and I kind of gave them some advice about the parks because it was their first time going. And I believe that was back in September that I met them. And two months later, they came back in the store and they're like, do you remember us? I was like, of course I do. You're my favorite couple. And so it was just really cool that I got to see them. And then I actually got to see them again in April. So it's just cool that you get to meet those people that remember you every time because you made their trip special in some sort of way, which is magical for me just as much as it was for them. So that was really fun. And... Another really cool moment was when several of the girls and I went from work, went to Magic Kingdom and we were staying around at the end of the night trying to watch the Kiss Goodnight, getting all our confectionery baked goods and we had this photographer who took pictures of us and we were having fun with it and then after we were done, this little boy comes up and he's like hamming it up. He is so cute and making all of us laugh and we're like, you are my new best friend. 
And so we got to talking to the family and this boy loved us. And he was showing off his boots that had Andy written on the bottom. And it was just so cute and like, it's so fun to connect with people like that. We found out that it was their last night of their trip. They found out we were cast members and they just thought it was the coolest thing ever that we got to go back into the parks, meet people like them and just have a really good conversation. And so when we were walking back to our cars, after we're out of the Magic Kingdom, after the ferry boat ride, we're in the parking lot walking back, we run into our favorite people again. And the little boy's mom was like, look at your favorite girls. And we were like, oh my gosh, he's back. And so we ended up talking more and we got a picture with him and it was, they were the cutest. And I took it on my Polaroid camera. And so the mom took it for us and he looked at it and he goes, oh, thanks. And the mom's like, no, 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 that's their copy. You can't have that one. I was like, how about this? He's like, how about you keep that one, but you have to promise to take another one with us that we can keep. And he was like, of course that's okay. So. I actually have the picture somewhere. He was just, they were so much fun to talk to and it was just really a good time. It's a good memory to have. Anything else you'd like to add, go for it. The only thing that I can really add is anytime you're thinking, oh, I don't want to do this, oh, I can't do that, just go for it. Who cares if the park closes in 10 minutes? and you're literally walking through, go. Go ride that one ride, it's worth it. You will never regret it. Make friends with everyone that you can. I don't know, I was able to meet a lot of different people from picking up in other locations and I actually made really good connections with, her, with some of them and I'm still friends with them today, so it's really cool. I love working Fantasyland, shout out to Katie. I got to hang out with her a lot, so just, you meet so many people and it's so special. And back to being the emotional part, I told myself I was not going to cry leaving Disney and nope, wasn't going to happen. And on June 10th, my roommates and I were getting ready to watch Wishes for the last time together and probably the last time of Wishes. And by the end, we were just bawling. Like, I cannot even believe how much we were crying. And it's people like that that you want to be around more, that just lift you up and support you in everything you do. And it's, it's very emotional saying goodbye to all of them. I miss them dearly. I can't wait for our annual meetup trips. Already planning one now. So just have fun with your program. Even if you're second guessing something, just do it. You'll regret it forever if you hadn't. And as little as dumb as it may sound, just do it. And I guess if you have any other advice or want to see any of my other journeys, just go check out my channel and subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.